Even though? Even though. I don't like sitting under fans. I don't like sitting under fans. And here I am sitting right under one. And here I am sitting right under one. And if I had known there'd be a camera here. And if I had known there'd be a camera here. I might have thought twice about being a demonstration. I might have thought twice about being a demonstration. I accept myself anyhow. I accept myself anyhow. Even though I did a session before. Even though I did a session before. And it wasn't quite finished. And it wasn't quite finished. About not liking sitting under fans. <laughs> not liking sitting under fans. Because it makes my eyes dry and sore. Because it makes my eyes dry and sore. And it makes my throat dry and sore. And it makes my throat dry and sore. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all of this. And all of this. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though there's a camera there. Even though there's a camera there. And all these people watching me. And all these people watching me. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. So see how I just started with exactly what I already knew about it um, from working out there. Um, and now I'll ask us some more things about what you want to work on. All right, so that was a bit of an introduction to it. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you wanted to work on? And we'll just tap through the points uh, first. Yeah, I have um, a, a phobia that's a bit bizarre that could be a good one to work on. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your bizarre <laughs> phobia. Um, my phobia is about feather dusters. Uh-huh. So I've heard of ones like that mm -hmm. before. It's not that bizarre. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so I don't like feather dusters. Mm -hmm. um, I've had some hypnosis and I've had a few other things and I still have fear of feather dusters. Okay. And when you say a fear of feather dusters, does something picture come into your mind? Yeah, they're black and, and swaying. Especially on the fan, it's going to be swaying even bigger. Yeah, so a black swaying feather duster. Yeah. Do we have a feather no. duster? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see how that... All right, see, that response. <laughs> that's, see how I, I really brought that response up? Yeah. So yeah. if you imagined Monique going on and, and getting a feather duster, do where do you feel that in your body? Um, I don't know. The fear is just too great, the thinking of it, which is um, just a bit silly. Um, All right, come back to this. So what is it out of 10, if you imagine she was going out of the room? Oh, yeah, it goes straight to, <laughs> to, to, mm -hmm. to 10. Yeah. Okay, and where, where do you feel that fear in your body? Imagining her walking back in with a feather duster. Mm, um, I think of the touch um, of it, if, mm -hmm. it, if it touches me. Although I really love soft things, that chair that has been sitting on is lovely and soft and I was touching it for. I really love soft things, so um, yep. in thinking about my phobia, mm -hmm. when I'm sure they're nice and and nice and soft. But Do you remember mm -hmm. one touching you? Um, no. One of my memories is in about grade two when um, I was being chased by one, <laughs> not chased by one, a child in school mm -hmm. had one chasing me around the playground. And okay, right. So yeah. we've got a memory. So that's specific a memory. memory. Yeah. So we, we always need to get to a specific memory and we've got one. Yeah. So even though, even though it's 10 out of 10, it's 10 out of 10. This fear, this fear, imagining <laughs> that makes me wrinkle my shoulders, uh, seeing a black feather duster. <coughs> now it's getting my throat. And it's in my yeah. throat. Yep. Yeah. And it's in my throat. And I've got a grade 2 memory. A grade, um, I think 3. Grade 3 memory. Yeah, grade 3 memory. Of a child. Of a child chasing, chasing me around. Yep. Yeah. And I promised to give her my new felt pins if she stopped. Uh -huh. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've got this 10 out of 10 fear. Even though I've got this 10 out of 10 fear. Of feather dusters. Of feather dusters. And I know <laughs> it's not logical. I'm worried someone's creeping up behind me with one. <laughs> and I'm worried that someone's creeping up behind me with one. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all these fears. And all these fears. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've got this irrational fear, even though I have this irrational fear, that goes back to this grade three memory, goes back to this grade three memory of this child chasing me around, and this child chasing me around, and I promised my new felt pins, and I promised my new felt pins if she'd stop, if she'd stop, was a she? Yep. So I just well, I think so. Uh huh. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. Deeply and completely. Deeply and was chasing. So, yeah, so I was scared of, like I had already had this phobia for many years beforehand, but this mm -hmm. is just one of the, okay. the things that I can remember. I was already scared of feather dusters. I was already scared of feather dusters. I was already scared of feather dusters. And here's this girl chasing me around with one. this girl chasing me with one. I can imagine the fear. 
I can imagine the fear. It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's 10 out of 10 fear. It's 10 out of 10 fear. I'm so scared I'm even looking behind me in case someone's <laughs> sneaking up. Yeah, I'm so scared I'm even looking behind me to see if someone's coming up and, and mm -hmm. sneaking up behind me. I'm scared of its touch. I'm scared of its touch. All my fears. All my fears. It's 10 out of 10 fear. It's 10 out of 10 fear. I'm scared of its touch. I'm scared of its touch. The way it like seaweed. The way it waves like seaweed. All right. So now we've got another word. And mm -hmm. ostriches and emus, like the way it waves like seaweed, yeah. like ostriches and emus. They run and they sort of the feathers go up and down. Mm -hmm. The way they run and the feathers go up and down. The way they run and the feathers go up and down. I wonder where I've seen that before. I wonder where I've seen that before. I wonder where the original memory comes mm -hmm. from. I wonder where the original memory comes from. And the from. original fear. Of the way ostriches run, the way ostriches run, and emus, and their feathers go up and down, and down, or like seaweed. Yes, I like seaweed. The way it wiggles. The way it wiggles like seaweed. The way it wiggles like seaweed. I wonder which memory brings the fear. I wonder which memory brings the fear. So coming back to here. So when I just said that about ostriches and emus, and see how I mimicked her as well, just with her actions, so she, the way they run and the feathers go up and down, mm -hmm. but there's also the way the seaweed wiggles. Which one resonates with you more? Which one triggers you more? Oh, the emus watching them. Yeah. Okay. So if you're seaweed, maybe you can't see the seaweed, it's something more unusual. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. So when you imagine yourself being a little. Mm -hmm. Seeing those emus and ostriches running and the feathers going up and down. Is there an age or a memory popping in? Um, no, I think I, de I feel like I developed the, the whatever with the emus and ostriches afterwards. Like it's always been the, the feather dusters and just the feather um, dusters. Over the, yeah, over the years, the, um, the association, like when I was that age, I didn't really associate with the dusters coming from um, emus and ostriches. But mm -hmm. Even so much as um, you know, when you get dunas or feather dusters, that sorry, um, feather pillows that have that feeling, I can't stand the touching the feeling of the quills either. Okay. Yeah. Even though I can't stand the touch and feeling of the quills. Even though I can't stand the touch and feeling of the quills. <coughs> like in dunas. Dunas and pillows. pillows. Yeah. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. And I want to get to the bottom of them. I want to get to the bottom. Of them. So I can dissolve them. So I can dissolve. Even though I don't like the feeling of feather dusters. Even though I don't like the feeling of feather dusters. Or even the quills in the dunas or feather pillows. Or even the quills in the dunas or feather pillows. And I don't know where it started. I don't know where it started. I'm open to releasing it in here. I'm open to releasing it in here. Even though I don't like the way feather dusters move. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't like the way feather dusters move. And I don't know where it comes from. Mm -hmm. I don't like those quills in no, feathers. I like those quills. Dunas and pillows. I spent a lot of my life sort of hiding from them. Like when you go to a new job, I always used to suss out. They're not as um, as prevalent now, but I used to suss out where's the. And do they use a feather duster? And I'd always be mindful of where it was so that I wouldn't suddenly open mm -hmm. the cupboard and, and find the feather duster there. And even though I'm mindful. And even though I'm mindful. I never know when a feather duster might jump out <laughs> from the cupboard. I never know when a feather duster might jump out from the cupboard. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them. I wonder where that originates from. I wonder where that originates from. In my childhood. In my childhood. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. So is it still 10 out of 10 when you think about? What if uh, someone comes up from behind? Yeah, it's there? still pretty high. It might not be quite 10, but um, mm -hmm. probably a 9. This, this 9 fear. This 9 fear. What if someone's coming up behind me? What if someone's coming up behind me? What if there's one in a cupboard that's going to jump out of me? What if there's one in a cupboard that's coming and get me? <coughs> I don't like the feeling. I don't like the feeling. I even have to suss out new jobs. I even have to suss out new jobs. What if they have feather dusters? What if, they have feather dusters? What if I open a cupboard and there's what if one? I open the cupboard and there's one there. All my fears. All my fears. I wonder where they come from. I wonder where they come from. I don't like the touch. I don't like the touch. That tickling feathered touch. Mm -hmm. My sister used to put one, we used to have a, a washing basket with our toys in and we'd keep them under our bed and my sister used to put a feather in there so that she'd know that I wouldn't go and touch her toys. Mm -hmm. But that was, you know, I already had the phobia about it. Mm -hmm. So how old were you then? Um, I'm thinking probably about grade seven or eight that okay. I can remember that. So I 
My sister even used it as protection. Yeah, my sister even used it. She used to put it in cupboards and sometimes tease me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All those fears. All those fears. They tease me with it. They tease me with it. My sister would tease me with it. My sister would tease me with it. I wonder what it would be like. I wonder what it would be like. To not be afraid of them. To not be afraid of them. I wonder where my fear came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder where my fear came from. Imagining me really little. I'm imagining me really little. And I feel that like I've done some work before where really little and, and supposedly someone in trying to be, you know, sort of gentle or whatever has, has put one across the back of my neck and that sort of gave me a surprise. I don't know whether that's the... I was really surprised. Like I don't remember it, but mm -hmm. it came up once. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I might have been really little. I might have been really little. And I didn't expect it. And I didn't expect it. That feather duster tickling the back of my neck. That feather duster tickling the back of my neck. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. Oh, I didn't expect it. And I didn't expect and it. And it really scared me. And it really scared me. I got that fight or flight response. And I got that fight or flight response. And I thanked my body. And I thanked my body for protecting me, for protecting me. My body didn't know it was harmless. My body didn't know that it was harmless. It was protecting me. It was protecting me. And I thanked my body. And I thanked my body. But that protection no longer serves me. That protection no longer serves me. And I want to release it. And I want to release it. That feeling when I was really little. That feeling when I was really little. Someone coming up behind me. Someone coming up behind me. And putting a feather duster across my neck. And putting a feather duster across my neck. I didn't I expect it. I didn't expect it. It was a feather. It was a feather. Yeah. Well, I don't really even remember the incident. But, okay. but, but I was told like it was I'm, a feather. I'm, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm looking at someone else happening, like I'm not feeling yeah. that was me. Um, okay. That I really lived it. Because yeah. I obviously don't remember. So that's like a dissociation, but you go with whatever's there. So I can imagine. I can imagine. Me being really little. Yeah, me being really little. And someone rubbing a feather across the back of my neck. Someone rubbing a feather against, across the back of my neck. They didn't know that I'd jump with surprise. They didn't know that I would jump with surprise. And shock. And shock. And I would be frightened of them. And I'd be frightened of them. It was a harmless thing. It was a harmless thing. But I didn't expect it. And it was probably a, a, an affectionate move mm -hmm. too, but I yeah, didn't expect it. Yeah. It was probably affectionate. It was probably affectionate. It was probably done with good intentions. It was probably done with good intentions. But my body went into shock. But my body went into shock. It went into fight or flight. Went into fight or flight. I was scared of it. I was scared of it. I didn't it. expect it. I didn't expect it. My body went into fight or flight. My body went into fight or flight. My body was just trying to protect me. My body was just trying to protect me. But maybe I can feel that feather on the back of my neck now with the love intention. Mm, maybe you can feel the, the feather on the back of my neck with the loving intention. That it was given to me. That it was given to me. Expecting it. Expecting it. And if it was a pretty colour, purple would be good. Mm -hmm. I've got this beautiful purple <laughs> feather <laughs> on the back of my neck. Beautiful purple feather on the back of my neck. That sits nicely, I can feel mm -hmm. that's nice. Yeah. I wonder what it would be like if it was the whole feather duster with the purple feather. Went up a little bit, but um, yeah, um, that's getting better than a being black one. Mm -hmm. So when you say purple, that's yeah, a nice yeah, one. Which purple? purple? Yeah. This one, although that one's on the Libran, um, hard to make a decision. I'll just do both. <laughs> So imagining a feather duster. Imagining a feather duster. On the back of my neck. On the back of my neck. That's purple. That's purple. Breathing it in. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, it reminds me of my grandmother's perfume. Mm -hmm. oh, don't know whether that's a good thing or not, though. But <laughs> reminds me of my grandmother's perfume. Reminds me of my grandmother's perfume. So what was your relationship like with your grandmother? Um, I've never really close with her, but it just it's sort of like a grandma -y smell is what mm -hmm. I was certainly yeah. thinking rather than mine. It's a grandma -y smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine when I was little. When I, yeah, I can imagine when I was little. That there'd be grandmother love. That would be grandmother love. Maybe the grandmother was the one that lovingly touched me with a with a feather and that's a maybe nice thought. Yeah. Maybe she's the one. Yeah. Maybe it was my grandmother that touched maybe me with a feather. Maybe it was my mother that touched me with a feather. With a light tickling touch. With love. With love. Mm, and my body took it as fear. It's quite a different feeling now. It's sort of like a loving feeling, mm -hmm. feeling touch. But then if you turned it to a black one and everything <laughs> had one, I would still. Mm -hmm. um, 
it would still go right back up there, but the purple one would be all right. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like. I wonder what it would be like. If all black feather dusters. <laughs> if all black feather dusters. Dissolved into purple ones. Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah, that would be nothing to be scared of then. If they're all purple, can we change emus and ostriches as well? Purple as well. Even when they run along. Yeah, even when they run along. Maybe it's just all my reactions. Maybe it's just all my reactions. My body was shocked. My body was shocked. My body didn't expect. My body didn't expect. What if I could lovingly expect? Yeah, what if I could lovingly expect? A loving tickle. A loving tickle. And I just had also a, a visual of um, one of my worst fears has always been if I fell into a room, but locked in a room that was just full of um, full of feathers. And so a flash of just them being purple and actually supporting me and holding me up mm -hmm. um, was a nice, a bunch nicer visualisation and just feeling mm -hmm. all those awful quills and lots of, mm -hmm. lots of feathers. What if I could feel those quills? What if I could feel those quills? In feather pillows and dunas. In feather pillows and dunas. As those loving, caressing, Getting, supporting, purple, supporting. That would feathers. make it much easier in life. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could even love all feather dusters. Oh, I wonder if I could even love all feather dusters. And still feel that purple. And still feel that purple love mm -hmm. for the feather duster. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can send that. Maybe I can what, send that all the way back. Oh, all the way back. To that little me. To that little Belinda. Sitting there. Sitting there. Not expecting it. Not expecting it. Then feeling a loving caress. Then feeling a loving caress. Even with a black feather. Even with a black feather. And feeling it as love. And feeling it as love. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. It's safe to feel feather dusted. Mm, it's safe to feel feather dusters. Oh, I'll tell my body that. It's safe to feel them. It's safe to feel feather dusters. Purple feather dusters. It's safe to feel them. I wonder what it would be like. I wonder what it would be like. To feel safe. To feel safe. Even when I was in grade three. Even when I was in grade three. And that girl was chasing like, me. Mm, I'd turn around and tell her to, <laughs> to get lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd turn around and tell her to get lost. Yeah, I don't think I knew that other word. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I didn't take the feather duster off her. Yeah, maybe, yeah I'm, I'm, I can visualise me doing that now and thinking how stupid that someone's chasing me. That you know, mm -hmm. I could grab that that duster and just mm -hmm. I still don't want to touch the feathers though, but I feel like I could touch the handle and mm -hmm. and sort of you know um, mm -hmm. tell her off. I wonder what it would be like. I wonder what it would be like to not have fear. Do not have fear. To touch the feathers. Mm, to touch the feathers. I don't wonder about that. I don't. I still don't really want it. <laughs> I still don't really want to. All my fears. All my fears. Even though I've still got fears. Even though I've still got fears. About touching the feathers. About touching the feathers. I accept myself. I accept myself. I could touch them. The purple ones I could touch. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though. No. I could touch purple feathers. I could touch purple feathers. Maybe they're safe. Maybe they're safe. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I don't want to touch the black feathers yet. Even though I don't want to touch the black feathers yet. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. I wonder what a black feather means. Just one black feather, not the whole duster. I wonder what that one feather means. So where's the fear in your body when you think about touching a black feather, one black feather? Mm. What is it out of ten? It's sort of still eight or nine, but I can't imagine where in my body. Um, it's just that that I feel a bit frozen actually about yeah. even okay. touching yeah. it yep. still. That yep. frozen feeling. That frozen feeling. I wonder if I was frozen mm -hmm. in fear. I was frozen in fear. When I felt that feather on my, the back of my neck. I felt that feather on the back of my neck, it just felt something. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that would feel like. I wonder what that would feel like. If I could unfreeze myself. If I could unfreeze myself. Yeah, I was frozen yeah. in terror. Frozen in terror. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I'd never felt that before. I had never felt that before. I was frozen in terror. I was frozen in terror. I wonder if I can dissolve that. I think I can dissolve that. <laughs> I, I, think I, I, think I, I think I can. I think I can dissolve that. 
wonder what that would feel like. Mm -hmm. I think that would feel pretty good. Yeah, definitely would feel good. Dissolve. So what colour would help dissolve that frozen fear? Um, red comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're imagining somebody touching you on the back, that's, but that's not red. That looks the colour of my dog's perfume. Oh, it's still red. <laughs> <laughs> See again, that it's red. Uh, so if I spray red mm -hmm. and allow that to dissolve the fear, keep mm tapping. -hmm. Just from my stomach, I just felt a big. Whoosh. So. Um, Clovey mm -hmm. smell to it. Dissolving that fear. Mm. It's as if it's like just a little ball of sort of just nothing dissolving sort of thing, mm -hmm. swishing around. And yep. Dissolving. Mm -hmm. Dissolving mm -hmm. and releasing all mm -hmm. the fear. All the fear. Of black feather dusters. Oh, black feather dusters. And that frozen. And that frozen feeling. Fear. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what it was. I just didn't know what it was. It's just an inanimate, inanimate object. It's just an inanimate object. Yeah. I wonder if I can feel safe letting feathers touch me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can feel safe letting feathers touch me. Now that I've dissolved that frozen feeling. Now that I've dissolved that frozen feeling. Deep breath. So if you imagine someone coming up behind you and brushing the back of your neck with a feather in a loving, caressing manner, like your grandmother or something. But it's a black feather duster. How does that feel? Mm, it's still not good. If it was purple or red, I mean, I'm seeing, seeing those black leaves on that. Um, mm. They look all right because they're not swaying and they're solid. They're not got those little, okay. those little wavy. So imagine wavy how little things. you were yeah, when you cool. saw that waving. Waving, yeah. That you sure was little. Even though, even though I was, I imagine I was very little. I imagine I was very little when I saw those black wavy things. When I saw those black wavy things, and I didn't know what they were. And I didn't know what they were. I didn't know what that feeling was. I didn't know what that feeling was. And it really scared me. And it really scared me. I accept myself. I accept myself deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I was only really little. Even though I was only really little. And I saw those black wavy things. And I saw those black wavy things. And I didn't like the feeling. And I didn't like the feeling. And I went into frozen shock. And I went into frozen shock. I was scared. I was scared. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I can still see those wavy black feathers. Even though I can see those black wavy feathers, they're not um, waving at me as much anymore. They seem much more solid like the, mm -hmm. those leaves and not as scary. And, mm -hmm. Maybe they're not as scary. Yeah, maybe they're not as scary. Maybe I can look at them. Maybe I can look at them. Maybe they are solid. Maybe they are solid, but I just thought about one coming in the room to look at them and just threw me right back up again. Mm -hmm. But I still don't want to look at one. No, I still don't want to look at one. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my reactions. And all my reactions. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. I still don't want to look at one. I still don't want to look at them. Even though they mightn't be scary now. Even though they mightn't be scary now. There's still some fear in my body. There's still some fear in my body. When I imagine them waving. When I imagine them waving. I want to release that remaining fear. I want to release that remaining fear. All the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. Wherever it came from. Wherever it came from. Even if I imagine someone walking in with a black feather duster. Holding it under the fan so it's all waving. It's too close! <laughs> what if I was holding one right here? Yeah, no. Where do you no, feel no, that? Look at it. Yeah. Um, it's part of the testing as well. Um, um, I can't seem to feel it, in, feel where it's feeling in my body. Maybe a little bit um, just sort of around this area. I'm just feeling a bit tight. Um, mm -hmm. This tight feeling. This tight feeling. Imagine there's one right here in my hand. Imagine there's one right here in your hand. <laughs> your hand, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could feel safe anyhow. Mm, no, I wonder if I could feel safe anyway. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. All that fear. 
Oh, that's here. Even though I don't feel safe. Even though I don't feel safe. And I'm still filled with fear. And I'm still filled with fear. When I imagine somebody I imagine bringing one into the room. Bringing one into the room. And seeing it waving in front I'm of me. I'm having a sense of wanting to feel the black colour mm. now. Good. See, it wasn't next to the purple, so maybe I was just working my way there. <laughs> so the black is about... There's light at the end of the tunnel, the lightness mm -hmm. in the darkness, mm -hmm. in the fear. Mm -hmm. So breathing in the black. I wonder if there's lightness even in the black. I wonder if there's lightness even in the black. And even. looking at that picture, the thing that stands out now is the white flowers, not the black sort of has receded and it's the white that's popping out. And mm -hmm. me. Yeah. I wonder if it's safe. I wonder if it's safe. I'm feeling safe now. To have a feather duster in the same room as me. I'm not sure about that now. <laughs> um, I wonder what if I could I'm be over there, see. maybe. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, at least be in the room. Uh -huh. um, I'm feeling okay about that. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all my responses. And all my responses. That have been there to protect me. That have been there to protect me. I want to release and let go. I want to release and let go. Of the fear. Of the fear. I know that I'm safe. I know Safe. Even with a feather duster in the room. Even with a feather duster in the room. Even with a black feather duster in the room. Even with a black feather duster in the room. Even though Monique said she doesn't have one. Okay, something. God, Monique doesn't have one. <laughs> what if she does? What if I have a black feather? What if I have a black feather? What if she has a black feather? A black feather? I just feel much better if she didn't have anything at all. <laughs> what if I stand at the back wall at the mirror with it? <clears throat> No. <laughs> I don't know how to respond. I don't know how to respond. I've always responded with fear. I've always responded with fear. Yeah. I wonder if I could respond differently. I wonder if I could respond differently. I don't know. I don't know. I've never willingly done that. I have willingly done that, so I have. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, so what did that feel like when you willingly did that? Um, actually, in, the, in my present job, the first day I arrived, there was a feather on my desk that, you know, after the cleaner had cleaned it, um, I, and I was, it was on a piece of paper. I was able actually to pick the piece of paper up and put it in the bin. And I um, did oh. see where the feather duster was, and I've put it in the cupboard. And I actually have opened that cupboard, and it's not there, so I don't know where it is. So, but, um, yeah. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. That feeling of, I don't know where the feather duster is. That feeling of, I don't know where that feather duster is. It appears out of nowhere sometimes. It appears out of nowhere some, People sometimes. chase me with it sometimes. Yes, and I'm just thinking with, I hope no one teases, teases me with it, because that's what my sister would have yeah, done. My sister teased, teased me, with me with it. Yeah. My sister teased me with it. used to think it was funny to that I'd run away as soon as I saw it. My sister teased me with it. My sister teased me with it. I always ran away. I always ran away. Oh, there's a feather on a hat over there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there's a feather on a hat. But if you bring it, like, I would probably normally not you want it to, to touch. Um, keep tapping. Because you just bring them slowly to see how I go. Keep tapping, keep tapping. So, yeah, so, I mean, so it's looking at this feather. Just keep it there, though. Yeah. Um, Let it wiggle in the... And that sort of black, you know, and solid, it's not as wavy as a sort of, I'm thinking, grey now, but... um. I couldn't do what you're doing to it, okay. um, but it's close to you. Be all right if you were wearing it. Okay. Um, Just go with my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so, seeing the feathers. And you're getting a bit closer to touching me. <laughs> I'll put it on my knee. I want to put mine. Uh -huh. But the they're feathers. not as scary. But it's still. Mm -hmm. um, what if it touches me? What if it touches me? All my fear. All my fear. What if it touches me? What if it touches me? I don't know what that feels like. It's probably soft. Mm -hmm. It's probably very soft and nice and I'm really getting there because it's not waving at you and you're touching it all right. It's waving. I'm just, I just, <laughs> it's saying hello. I just feel that suddenly you're going to put it near me. So if I go like, like that? Yeah, that would, um, yeah, chase I'll be with, I'll, I would probably stand up out of my chair pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Um, but just there, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, there's nothing unexpected about seeing it like that. No, it's okay. It's not unexpected. That's mm -hmm. fine. It's that unexpected feather. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I haven't sort of thought of it that way before. But yes, perhaps that unexpected, because they seem to always be unexpected. They're, 
used to be in the shopping aisles as well, and I'd have to walk right on the other side to go past mm -hmm. them. But the, they used to chase me. They used to chase me. They used to tease me. <laughs> they used to tease me. I wasn't expecting that. I'm getting feather on that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Don't finish. There's up. nothing. There's <laughs> nothing unexpected about this. No, that's, um, there's nothing unexpected about that. But what if somebody unexpectedly touched me with a feather on the back of my head? It's that oh, unexpected, unexpected feeling. That unexpected feeling. That okay, I'm going to touch this one now because I don't think they're actually emu or ostrich ones. They're probably a different kind of mm -hmm. kind of one. So he's all right. Oh, you've got another hat at me. <laughs> <laughs> let me, I'm just sort of, let me just. Um, <laughs> got a chicken at the back. <laughs> chicken, chicken's okay. They're yellow. That's okay. The black's nice. It's mm -hmm. kind of, you know. Louis gobby, but um. So what if I tickled you on the back of the neck with that? Yeah, actually, that I could probably, I could probably go all right with that now. Okay, so tap here. Imagining feeling this tickling the back of my neck. Imagine that feeling tickling the back of my neck. So that's right, but I'm conscious of what she's got. More feathers. Yeah, they they would tend to, but then I'm doing all right with them. You've got a lot of little fascinators, haven't you? And they're wiggling in the wind. Yeah, it would probably have, I probably wouldn't have been able to touch it before, but I'm looking at that one and thinking they're probably all right to touch. Do you want to touch? I'm going to touch down here and I'll probably hold it for a second and it's wiggling. Oh, that one's touching me. Um, how about you so let soft. it... How about you hold it? Yeah, we have that. control. Let me just sort of touch. Soft. Oh, that one's lovely and soft. Silly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. That one's. Not, that you one's put it on the back of your neck. Right, while you're, tap, no, while you're tapping here, mm -hmm. put it to tickle the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's fine because it's. Yeah. So imagine now it's a black feather duster tickling the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> This black, say about that, this, this black, black feather, feather duster, duster. Tickling the back of my neck. Tickling the back of my neck. Now I know my, my reasoning mind's going, well I know it's not a, a black one, so it's all right. Um, but if I um, <laughs> think about it, then mm -hmm. being a real feather duster. Um, that's all right, that's soft and it's kind of like nurturing and soft and... and okay, and so you've got that feeling. Thank you. Yeah. Even though? Even though. This is soft and nurturing. This is soft and nurturing. And the black feather duster wasn't. And the black feather duster wasn't. At least that's what I perceived That's what I perceived it. And I'm thinking it's about the um, unexpectedness of it, like I have never seen mm. that aspect of it before. I was only little. Yeah, I was. I'm and a black little. feather duster would have looked huge mm. to me. Mm, a black feather duster, they still do look huge. A mm. black feather duster would look huge. And, and it was all unexpected. And it was all unexpected. I accept myself anyway. I accept myself in him. Even though it was all unexpected and I didn't know what it was. Even though it was all unexpected and I didn't know what it was. And it was black waving things. And it was black waving things. And it scared me. And it scared the heck out of me. I accept myself. I accept myself. And the way my body protected me. And the way my body protected me. It was unexpected. It was unexpected. But maybe I can be safe with that. Mm, maybe I can be safe with that. Um, yeah. It was, yeah, it was all unexpected. It was all unexpected. It wasn't really the black feather duster. It wasn't really the fact that it was a black feather duster. It was. It, it was, was the fact that it was unexpected. The fact that it was unexpected. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. And I didn't know what it was. And I didn't know what it was. It was unexpected. It was unexpected. But it wasn't the black feather duster. It wasn't the black feather duster. It was just unexpected. It's kind of in light, in like. I feel a load lighter when I go. Oh, it wasn't even the black feather dusters, and I spent you know, yeah. fifty years. Thinking it's the feather dusters. That was just the thing that was there yeah, that, in that, that unexpected moment. In that unexpected moment. I wonder what it would be like. I wonder what it would be like if somebody walked in with a feather duster now. A black one. A little bit still tense about that, but um, I'm feeling better. That's 
feeling much, much better about it. Mm. All these years, all these years. I thought it was a feather duster. I thought it was a feather duster. It was just the, the unexpected event. Just the unexpected event. And still in my life, I don't like things suddenly changing and being unexpected. So probably all never related that before. Mm. So that's um, it's, a new... It's acceptable. It's acceptable. At times. At times. To be afraid of the unexpected. To be afraid of the unexpected. Just like I was when that feather duster got mm. me. Just like I was when that feather duster got me. And tickled the back of my neck. Tickled the back of my neck. It wasn't a feather duster, was it? It wasn't a feather duster. No, it was just the unexpected event. It was just the unexpected event. When I was quite really interesting. Little. Yeah, when I was really little. I accept mm. myself. I accept myself. And feather dusters. And I still work on those feather dusters, but yeah, it's opened a whole different thought process and thinking, oh, it's not the feather dusters that, um, mm. that I was scared All of. These yeah. years. All these years. I thought it was the feather dusters. I thought it was the feather dusters. Yeah. It was that unexpected event. Maybe I can have a nice relationship with feather dusters. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, at least I'll entertain the idea now. Yeah. All these years. All these years. I thought it was those black feather dusters out to get me. black feather dusters out to get me. All these years. All these years. It was just an unexpected event. It was just an unexpected event. And I can deal with an unexpected event much more rationally, easily, mm -hmm. I guess, because they're not something to be scared of. Mm -hmm. um, I was only little. Yeah, I was only little. It was an unexpected event. It was an unexpected event. And it scared me. And it scared me. This was a big black thing that I'd never yeah, seen it before. No, it was a big black thing that I'd never seen before. And I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, definitely a different whole a shift of, of how I see how I'm seeing feather dusters now. I froze with terror. Yeah, I did freeze with terror and I feel like I've, it's been frozen within me um, mm. for a long time. But I've been freezing on the wrong thing. Mm. And I was frozen yeah. on an unexpected event. Yeah, I was frozen on an unexpected event. And the uh, innocent party was the black feather, feather duster. duster. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the innocent party was a black feather duster. Maybe you got a fright as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can say sorry to the black feather duster. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, um, I can say sorry to the black feather duster, and just in, in feeling very foolish in in that as well, and saying that you know maybe it got a big fright seeing me <laughs> unexpectedly. Yeah, they're really interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So see, we talk more about cognitive shift, but she came mm. up with her own cognitive shift mm. there about seeing it all differently, mm. just by processing it mm. and being able to sort of test it. In the mm. When you imagine now someone coming in with a black feather duster and waving it in front of you. Yeah, I, I feel like I'll process it overnight. Um, Definitely a different feel. Well, but look at how much still, more relaxed she is just even talking about still, it and imagining yeah, it. Yeah, but still... Because it's been a conditioned response, I guess, and so yeah. I'll... Um, yeah, so but let's yeah. just finish it off. Even mm -hmm. though this has been a conditioned response. Even though this has been a conditioned response. And I've had it for 40 years or more. And I've had it for <laughs> 50 years or more. <laughs> 40, 40 years or more. I accept, I accept myself. myself. I accept myself. And the way my body's protected me. And the way, and the way my body's protected me. I can't possibly let it go within minutes. I can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I accept myself. I accept myself. And the way my body lets and the go. Way is. My body lets go of this. And also, like, just an appreciation for what your body does. Like, because I've been pretty um, narky at my body the last few years, just feeling like it's sort of breaking down. And I'm only 50. Like, why are you doing this to me? And I'm really angry at my body. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, a nice shift to think, oh, my body's been doing something nice for me all those mm -hmm. years, protecting me. Mm -hmm. from something that was, was silly, but it's a mm -hmm. nice shift about my body as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Thank you, my yeah. Thank, yeah, yeah, thank you, buddy. Yeah. It's been doing great things for It's me. been doing great things for me. And I feel like I want to thank Feather Dusters for some reason now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Maybe they're my friends. I'm not what I'm thanking them. I don't know what I'm thanking them for, but I feel like saying, oh, yeah. thank you, Feather Dusters. Um, yeah. For some reason. This, so, yeah. this cognitive this, shift. This thing to be able to be in this present you know, this present yeah. moment right now. About my body. Yeah, about my body. So, mm. it takes a, a, many, a lot of years to, that was just the reason for the fear of the dusters mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to and make me appreciate my body right 15 now. 15 minutes ago, I couldn't stand it. It's only been 15 minutes. I was conscious of the time for other people watching. It's never as exciting for someone else watching. But, um, but for over 40 years, I had a fear of the yeah. dusters. And now I'm thinking, I'm, 
you know, pick on your teammates that had, and so I'm, I am feeling like I had. Um, it's yeah, just completely different, a different shift. Mm -hmm. And see her energy yeah. completely mm -hmm. different. Maybe Pretty on that. I'm excited now about um, testing yeah. that. Um, Maybe someone can bring. I so wish I had a red. I've got no. a black fluffed chicken at home. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a chicken's not as bad, but um, but as soon as somebody said bringing something tomorrow, I'm thinking shit. No, I don't. <laughs> Maybe I can process that. Maybe I can buy one and bring one myself. Whoa. Yeah. 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 That would you now, now, now that's probably it. That, that's um, a bit of pressure. I've got a bring that. <laughs> that runs on the feathers. I bet like you know that. I can find the black feather duster now. Just the coloured ones. She can ring people. I am a bit concerned that you're all talking about wanting to bring one. Another, so <laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm going to take all the way home about like, that too. But that's, yeah, definitely a, yeah. a different feeling. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah.